Okay, guys and girls, it is time. It is time to go look in the pens and check our little antlers video out for this week. You know, last week we kind of put together a little bit of deals looking at Whitey and some of his growth deals and looking at some of the deer. But this week we're going to go back in the pen because I'm back on the ranch. That's exactly right. I've got my beautiful wife, Chris, down here with me. She'll be with me here all month, which is just absolutely fantastic. She's watching television now while I run around out here. We've got really serious cold weather coming in here. We've got some st thunderstorms, uh, hopefully a little rain, maybe even snow, I ice, tornadoes. I mean, all kinds of things supposed to happen. A big hailstorm, all kinds of things might happen. And uh, But I'm going to take a walk through the woods and go up to the uh, pen and get in there. I've got some carrots right here in my uh, uh, sweatshirt for split ear. Hopefully I'll get to feed them to her, and, uh, and she'll see the... Uh, She'll, 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 she'll get to eat a few carrots. Uh, the other day, last time I was in there and fed her, I, I had the camera running, but I didn't have it turned on, so we didn't get any of that, but she loves those carrots. She loves those carrots. We have some special things for planned for her in the future, which we'll be visiting with you about in the next couple of weeks. The big mystery is, will Whitey, will Whitey have those big antlers up there, or will they be? I have to do an antler search. Now I know where they'll be. It won't be hard to find. But uh, we're going to be doing some antlers uh, looking here pretty soon. I might invite my buddy Daniel Arms over here from Arms Family Homestead. If you're not subscribed to that channel, be sure and subscribe to it now. Daniel has over 600,000 people on that channel doing a tremendous job, tremendous job. And uh, But I might get Daniel and his son Houston over here to uh, do a little uh, antler search with me. We might go out in the woods and spend a day out there, see if we can locate some of those. But some of the deer still have them. Whitey still got his in a pen. Uh, 12 Point still had his this morning. Whitey had his yesterday. I don't know when we find out when we get up there today if he'll have his or not. But, uh, uh, but anyway, we're going to get up there and go in the pen, see what we can see, take a look at the deer, see how everybody's doing before this really bad cold front gets here. Okay, guys and girls, I have my treats. I have carrots, I have grapes, not many grapes, but a few grapes. I have a pretty good sized bag of apples. I've cut those apples up and uh, split ears already up here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave these, I'm gonna leave these in the mule I'm gonna go over here and leave them in here because I don't want her to attack me. And I'll save those until last because that, that's gonna be an exciting deal. There's Split Ears, my baby right there. She smells them, I'm sure. Hi, baby. How you doing, baby doll? How you doing, baby doll? Let's get this, uh, let's get this gate, let's get this gate opened up here. <laughs> Hi, sugar. Hi there. Hi there, sugar. You stay in there. You stay in there. All right, get back, get back, get back. Hi, baby. She smells them on my hands. She smells them on my hands. <laughs> look at her, look at her, look at her. She can smell them. She can smell them over there in the mule, I'm sure. Okay, all right, all right. Let's, 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 let's look at all the deer first, and then we'll come back and eat, okay? All right. Here's my baby split ears right up here with me right now. We'll see. She just wants some loving. She wants more than loving. She wants grapes and carrots. She can smell them on my hands. She knows I've got them. She probably saw them up there in the bag. But she's right here just being a lover like she is. She's just such a beautiful girl. Yeah, yeah, hopefully, hopefully baby doll. Hopefully baby doll, we'll get to move to the house and have your baby up there. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. I worry about, I worry about split ears. Uh, being out in a while because she's not been out in a while her whole life and she wouldn't be know how to probably get away from get away from coyotes and stuff like that. I've got some really pretty babies in here. You can see we've been feeding them alfalfa every day. If you'll notice on the alfalfa when we got in here there's uh, they like to eat they like to eat those little petals. You see those petals and stuff in there? That's what they like to eat. You see what she's picking out? And they leave the straw ends of it. You see what she's picking out there? She's picking out the good stuff. It's kind of like picking pecans off a tree or something. You don't eat the leaves, you just eat the pecans. And you can see here, as we put that in there, uh, that's what they're eating. And then they leave this straw, which is good because it covers the ground and that's good. It kind of helps if it, uh, this storm that's coming in here, storm's gonna come in here and dump a lot of ice and snow on the ground and that'll help them during that. We've got quite a bit of hay that we've scattered out in here. You can see some of the bales over there. All the deer are just looking beautiful, looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can find Whitey. 
somewhere and see if he has still got both of his crowns on his head. So you can see we put hay in in the uh, in the buildings for them so they can get in there because it's going to get cold. We're going to have single digit temperatures down for three or four nights in a row. And there's a bunch of girls back there. Where is Whitey? Oh, speaking of where is Whitey, there's my boy right there. And he still has both of them. I'll be, he sure does. He still has both of them. Still has both there. We'll just stop here and kind of take a little look at him. Zoom in here and see if we can get a real nice, good close up look of him. We just get beautiful looks of that deer. This deer is a little over two years old. That's his second set of horns. You can just take a look at him there, and he's just wonderful to look at. We're going to be able to hold those antlers in our hands here sometime in the next few weeks, probably any day. You never can tell. He's still rubbing them on the trees a lot. Now, Patsy said that this week he was hammering these trees. We've got a, a pole right there for him to rub against that we've put in here. Uh, he's still rubbing quite a bit. The deer are all looking beautiful, and he's just absolutely spectacular. He's got a harem in here. He's got 19, 19 does. One of them just a yearling. The rest of them are all at least a year and a half old or more. Split ears is on up there pretty good. You can see, see all of them looking right there. They got their winter coats on, beginning to look really, really good and pretty. They're going to need those winter coats. Y'all remember Green Tag, there's Green Tag down there. Green Tag was the one that was so skinny and bad, everybody was worried about her, including me. I gave her shots, I gave her worm medicine, I gave her lots of stuff, and now she's got in here where she just gets all the food she wants on demand, and she's just got to be a fat girl. And hopefully, hopefully she's carrying some real, real pretty babies. She was carrying babies last year, and we never ever, she never ever showed up at the house with babies, so we will be able to find the babies the same day she has them this year and doctor them. I'm gonna walk down here and get a little closer to these guys and take a look at him and his girls right there. You can see he's becoming a really, really big deer. He's gaining weight all the time now. His hocks are still pretty dark. And take a look at them right there. You can see back on his hind legs, uh, right in the middle there where it's kind of, you might call it the elbow of his hind leg. You can see how black it is there. That generally means that they're still in the rut, so he would probably still participate if he can find a willing girl. There's some split ear right there. You can see green tag. I mean, not split ear, green tag. You see how fat she is. They're kind of fluffed up out here today. The wind has uh, been blowing pretty hard. It's laying a little bit right now, which means that it's probably getting ready to shift around to the north. The moisture is going to start after a while, and it's going to actually turn into ice and snow. So these guys, it's a wonder they don't get the weather report, but they probably know that weather's coming in. They can feel it, they can tell about it. And uh, probably the two guys' antlers, both of them are probably gonna fall off at the same time here pretty soon. He's looking pretty spectacular. Let's walk down around the trees and see what deer down there and see what he does. Well, he's gonna walk right up here a little closer to me. We'll just wait a minute here. Let him walk up and let y'all get a really good look at that beautiful rack that he's got because he's got a beauty. He has got a beautiful rack. Oh my goodness. At least 20 points up there. Some of y'all have counted them. He's just absolutely gorgeous. A beautiful, pretty typical. Pretty typical. He would score as a typical deer. So let's go look at some of his other girls and see how they're looking. As we wander down this way, <clears throat> you'll see something that's really pretty amazing right here. You see this right here? <laughs> that's a deer trail. You see the deer trail going down through there? And then there's actually another one right over there that you can follow the deer trail down the hill. And this is a very distinct deer trail. They've got the whole pen to walk in, but they're still walking on a trail. One, that's just what they do. That's just what they do. And uh, even though, and there's two or three of these deer trails running around here. Now you would expect these to be around the edges. They're gonna walk around the edges of the fence. And you can see all the girls down here. Uh, there was three or four of them laying down. 
there's still a couple. Some of them have got up since I walked down here, but they're all just looking gorgeous. Everybody's looking good. And just kind of taking a little bit of a look at them where it looks like maybe some of them have still been breeding. And by looking at his hawks, you'd think that that's true too. Well, one thing that's happened this week, y'all probably noticed, we've been looking at quite a few deer. Nobody's peed yet. <laughs> you girls are being pretty nice today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all are being nice. None of you showing off. But uh, that's, uh, how many's right down there? Two, five, seven, ten right there. So that's, that's half of our girls right there. Nineteen, hopefully all bred. If they are, they're all bred to that beautiful, magnificent whitey. And they should have some gorgeous babies. And if you remember last year, we turned loose 17 girl deer and only five boy deer. We did lose one of those to a coyote, we know. Hopefully the others are going to grow up and be really, really big because they've got, we had some big boys in here with them. But we know all of these are from whiteys, so... Hopefully, we'll have a lot more bucks this year, and we'll have some bucks running around in the wild that look like TC, that look like Forest, that look like that big 12-point, that look like Whitey. We want to have some that look identical to Whitey and look like his brother Bazooka. Y'all remember Bazooka? So sad about Bazooka. Got that infection in his jaw, and we spent several hundred dollars with the veterinarian still couldn't save him uh oh uh oh there we go i'm not going to show that you know what's happening there i knew y'all had to do it didn't you i knew y'all had to do it i wonder if i make them nervous when i start taking their picture and that's why they gotta pee i don't know i don't know it's crazy isn't it but everybody's pretty calm cool and collected it's uh they seem to know the weather's coming in it's so amazing to see this trail going right down through the middle you can look and you can see the trail right there, right in the middle of the screen. That's the trail going down there. Now, looky here. This little deer come over here to see me. Hey, baby, let me back up here and take a look at you. Yeah, looky there. She's probably smelling those carrots, and they're smelling the apples on my hand. I cut the apples up, and they're smelling that. So I don't know where Split Ear is. She's probably going to slip up on me. I didn't even hear that deer walk up behind me. And she says, oh, Jimmy, yeah, are you talking to me? Are you trying to talk to me? Huh? She's acting like she's trying to talk. Yeah. Well, talk to me, girl. Talk to me, baby. Isn't she pretty? God, I just love these deer. Oh, she tried to talk to me. She said, where is my carrots? And I think I smell an apple. I think I smell an apple. All right, we messed around here a while. Let's go get the treats out of the mule and come back in the pen and see what happens. I know that Squid Split here is gonna get up there. Now she was pretty aggressive last week. She was rearing up, thumped me a time or two uh, accidentally with her front paws. So, uh, but I'm being careful around them. So let's, uh, let's go see what happens. Okay, we're gonna head back to the mule sitting up there and uh, head back and get the treats, carrots and grapes. There's Split here. She hears me talking. She knows what I'm saying. Here she comes, walking right up to me. Now Whitey's moved over here to feast on alfalfa just a little bit. He might be smart enough to realize that Jimmy brings treats when he comes in anymore, unless he forgets them. But you can see we're getting really, really close to him. And I'm not zoomed in all the way. We'll see if maybe, look at that. Is that spectacular? Is that spectacular? Goodness sakes alive. He is so pretty eating that alfalfa. That provides them a lot of heat in the winter time and a lot of the right type minerals and vitamins that they need. The alfalfa is very good for them. In the wild, you'll see deer on alfalfa fields all the time. Split ears back here licking my hand, uh, trying to get petted a little bit. She's gonna get excited here in a few minutes and we'll see what some of the other deer do. If you remember, last week we fed a couple of them out of our hand, almost fed Whitey out of our hand. We'll see what happens. 
Everybody is kind of binging, binging on alfalfa right now. They got plenty of alfalfa in here and they're really enjoying it. They're really enjoying that alfalfa. Yeah, there's my little baby right there. This is a, just a six month old deer. Well, more than six months old, but born uh, probably in May. Don't know exactly, but probably born in May. And it's gonna be interesting to see if her belly gets big and if she has a baby. She's a beautiful little girl, but she just this year's fawn. And if she does have a baby, more than likely I probably will take that baby away from her. I know, girls, that sounds cruel, but the little girl like that has a hard time raising them, and so probably will take that away from her and bottle raise it. Oh, another deer pen. Uh, get off of that, Jimmy. Anyhow, anyhow, hopefully, hopefully that little girl right there, she's such a pretty little girl. Hopefully she will, uh, I kind of hope she's not bred, but if she is, if she is, you'll see the difference in the size of her and that other deer there, a green tag. Green tag's kind of an old deer. There's a young mama and an old mama. Kind of hoping that little girl doesn't have a baby. But if she does, I'm hoping that baby is a boy baby. Probably would just have one, not twins, if she does have them. And I hope that boy looks like his daddy. Because his daddy, <laughs> his daddy is very, very, very special. You can see Whitey right there. That'll wrap it up for this week's video. See Whitey and how beautiful he is. I'm gonna go check uh, Split here. She looks like she might have got choked on one of those apples a minute ago. Uh, thought I had the camera running there and I, I ended up giving all my deals out and the camera wasn't running. So we missed quite a bit there, but I'm gonna walk over and check Split, Split here. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put these out here and throw them outside the fence. Stick them up where we don't have to worry about those and I'll pick them up. And uh, I'm gonna go over here and. Before I leave, I want to check out my split ear and make sure that she's all right. You can see Big Whitey there. He had him a nice treat, and he's going to go back to eating alfalfa. But I got to go check out split ear because uh, I sure don't want her to get choked on that apple. She was having a hard time chewing them up. She's kind of an old deer, and her teeth might not be nearly as good as they used to be. So let's go check her out. Let's go check her out before we quit this week. I don't want everybody worrying about split ear. A lot of you are just like me. You've fallen in love with that baby. And we'll see where she is. Here she is right here. Hi, baby. Hi, split ear. Are you okay? Hey, split ear. Are you okay, girl? Huh? Are you okay? Huh? Come here and talk to me. Come here and see me. Did you just get full? Huh? Did you just get full? Are you okay? You don't have nothing stuff in your throat, do you? She didn't, she didn't call for anything or act like she was, but she just, all of a sudden she just quit eating. And I don't know why. Uh, I don't think she's got anything stuck in her throat. She feels fine. Hey, baby. Oh, it's my girl. You okay? Hey, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? You get anything stuck in your throat? No, I think she's fine. I think she's fine. She just got full, I guess, those apples. I had several apples and she ate several, probably, I had them all cut up, but she probably actually ate two or three apples, which is a, a pretty good meal. And, you know, like I said, they're, they're not hungry anyway because they got all the food they want. All right. <laughs> all right, guys and girls, that'll wrap it up for another episode of Antlers. We've got Whitey out there eating alfalfa. Split ears is just fine. And... Uh, We'll call it, we'll call it another great week. Watching deer antlers, not growing now, and also not falling off. There he is back here, what a beauty, what a beauty. Woo. Guys and girls, have you a great one. Remember, I sure do love you.